what we're going to attempt here is to use layers and objects within Flash to follow a path and we're going to make a basketball appear to go through a hoop. So in order to do that we're going to need to create a new Flash file. Uh, once you're in your new Flash file we're going to have to place some objects some images onto the actual screen. So if you go to File and choose Import, we're going to import the objects directly to the stage, to the screen. The first thing we're going to place on the screen is some floorboards to make it look like the bottom of a basketball course. Uh, those are located on xDrive and when we get there, here we go, so if you browse to xDrive and browse into your IST folder there is a shortcut inside the IST folder to digital media and then if you go to flash animation and bouncing ball we're going to first of all import the court, you can see the little preview down the bottom here and we say OK we're going to position our court on the bottom of the screen, so move it down. And then what we're going to do is get rid of this white bar across the top. So you click on the stage, the white, and then if you come over to the right hand side you can see that it's got the background colour of the stage. Click on that and choose black. That way we appear to be using just one image across the whole scene rather than having a white bar across the top. Now we're going to import our hoop. So once again you go to file and choose import sorry, skipped a step. Down the bottom here we're using layers. Because we want the ball to appear to go through the hoop we're going to actually have to put the ball, the court and the hoop on separate layers. So layer 1, let's just double click on that and rename it court so that we know um, that that's the court. Come down to the bottom left hand corner and add a new layer for the hoop and then add a third layer that we'll put the ball on. We'll rename layer 2 hoop and rename layer 3 ball. Uh, on the hoop layer we're going to import now our hoop. So select the hoop layer, go to file, choose import, import directly to the stage and select hoop.png. You can see down the bottom here that it's just the hoop. Now it's almost in exactly the right position, however if we start a ball down the bottom right hand corner here and move up it's going to hit the ceiling of our stage before it goes in the hoop. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit. Then I'm going to change my layer to the ball layer. We're going to draw our ball, so we choose the uh, shapes tool, it's currently selected to the rectangle tool, change that so that it chooses the oval tool. Select a good colour for the ball, a nice orange, and then the border can still be left as black, the stroke colour can still be left as black. You could also adjust this so that it's got a different type of um, stroke size, so you could make it a hairline or you could make it a bit ragged so that it looks a bit more like a ball as you drive it, as you draw it. If you now hold down shift you'll actually, you'll see that I get an oval, by holding down shift it actually converts that into a circle. So we want the ball to be about that size. So we now have our ball in its starting position, the hoop in its position and the court background in its position. We're now going to create a motion tween. So if you right click on the frame, choose create a motion tween, it'll say that the ball will need to be converted into a symbol and you accept the defaults and say OK. You now need to move the ball to where you would like it to travel to and you'll notice that we get this lovely little dotty line showing us that we have uh, a motion tween for that ball. Now that we've created our motion tween we're going to stretch that out so that it takes 50 frames to complete that tween which is going to be about 2 seconds because we're showing 24 frames per second and at frame 50 we're going to add a keyframe for the hoop and a keyframe for the court so that both the court and the uh, hoop are visible throughout the 50 frames of the motion tween for the ball. You can see if we move across, the ball's now moving across the center of the, or across the middle of the stage, and if you select that layer, you'll get the lovely line with dots on it showing you where the ball is at any particular frame. Uh, I'd like the ball to arc up, and at about 25 frames, or actually at about 33-ish frames, I'd like the ball to be above the hoop so that the last section of the frames the ball is falling down. So I'm going to pick up the point where the ball is at 30 frames 
and I'm going to move that to where I want the ball to be at that 30th frame, approximately there. You can now see that my arc has gone from the point down here up through the air and then it's going to land down. And if I play my motion, you can see that it goes up, down through my hoop, and then comes back down to the fall. Uh, when you play by pressing Control Enter, you can see a preview of your ball moving up and through the air. You'll notice that the ball is actually moving in front of the hoop. This is where we need to now adjust our layers. So we'll close the preview, we'll select the hoop, and we're going to move that up to the top of our layer panel, preview once again, and now the ball should pass behind the hoop, making it appear to move through the air and fall through the hoop.